the National Stop the War Coalition decided to call a vigil for the hundred dead British soldiers. It's important that we mark this grim occasion, uh, not least to show that Tony Blair has got the blood not only of those troops on his hands, but the blood of Iraqi citizens on his hands. Not, not only is it the hundredth British soldier that's died, but it reflects over a hundred thousand Iraqis that have died too. The message to, to people in Holland, people across the UK, is that you know we want this war to be brought to an end, and we want people to be safe. We don't want to see any more troops being killed and neither do we want to see any more civilians die in an unnecessary conflict. So you remember these deaths today. Perhaps we can trust that all these deaths in some way aren't in vain. Alan Douglas, John Jones, Christopher Hickey, Ken Masters, Matthew Bacon, Donald Mead, Stephen Manning, the not, not only is it the hundred British soldier that's died, but it reflects over a hundred thousand Iraqis that have died too. Men, women, children. Because it's a democracy at home, if we don't agree, we can complain. We have some redress. We do have MPs, we do have representatives in the Houses of Parliament. We can write to our MPs, we can write to our representatives, wherever they are. If you want to get in touch with us in Hull, you can email us through the National Stop the War website. We're hoping to run a coach next month to London for the third anniversary of the attack on Iraq.